Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of installing the latest and greatest operating system from Microsoft Windows 11. So let's dive in and get your PC upgraded to the next level. Now let's go to our search bar and type in Windows Update Settings. Click on it. Here, we might want to check for any update. So, let's click on it. Well, as you can see, there are no updates. And if you take a look at your right, there's an information that says, this PC doesn't currently meet the minimum system requirements to run Windows 11. In order for us to know if our PC can run Windows 11 as recommended by Microsoft, let's run our PC head check. To run our PC head check, now let's go to the search bar. Type in PC head check. Now click on the PC Head Check app. Then uh, we go ahead to click uh, Check Now, where as you can see, the PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. So we go ahead to close this and close this. So the next thing you want to do is to go to GitHub. Um, I'm going to put the site, uh, I mean, um, I'm going to put the website below the description below. Or you can see it here on the address bar. So you want to come down here and uh, click on bypass 11 that you see down here. And then we want to come down to this link over here and click on the skip underscore TPM underscore check on dynamic updates.cmd. So we want to click that. So on the right hand side here, we are, we are going to uh, come over here and uh, as you can see, uh, there's copy raw content. We want to click on that so that we can get it copied. It's going to copy all this code that you see in front of you. So when once all the codes are copied, now, we need to open the application notepad by going to the search search bar and type in notepad then click on it and we are going to do a, a control v or right click and click paste so we're going to click on the save as this is important because we need to change the file type so we are going to go to the bottom here that says uh, save as type. And it says text documents. So we are going to change that to all files. And as a file name up here, uh, we could put any name or like. But remember to put at the end .cmd. 
we are changing to the file type .cmd. So, uh, so I'm going to type in win11 bypass dot cmd then we click save remember you can save it anywhere you like so once that's done we go check the location where the file is and see it is properly saved as you can see here it is and now well, we need to um, download windows 11 using this website so i'm going to put the website under the description below There are a couple of ways whereby we can download this, but in this method, we'll be going through this process. So instead of using USB, we are going to be going direct to the, uh, the, to the disk method by downloading Windows 11 Multi Edition iOS here. So here you need to choose um, the language you're familiar with when installing Windows to see what language you are using let's go here and click on it as you can see it brings out different languages once you have chosen the language you're familiar with then let's click on confirm Then click on the set for bit download. And it will start downloading directly. So uh, once we get that downloaded, uh, we'll check our desktop to see if it's properly downloaded by finding the location of where it has been installed now on our notepad that has been saved on our desktop we we click on win 11 bypass click yes once you get this prompt and it will run on its own so after some seconds it will install the patch and it will close and here on the windows 11 downloaded software iso that has been downloaded we click on it and select open and here we are looking for the file that says setup then we click on it and then here we select yes and then this should open the windows 11 installer so I'm going to go ahead and close the window. So from here, it's just like opening any other version of Windows. So at the bottom here, we can go on and click Next. It's going to check if there are any updates available. As you can see, we have been able to pass the check. That's the check for running or for verifying if it is capable of uh, running Windows 11. And then here we click on accept. So here we have to choose what to keep. So in my case, I would like to keep my files, settings and app. So I'll be leaving it as it is. Then select next. 
then uh, it's going to re-verify for updates. Then it should tell us the Windows version, that is Windows level that it wants to install based on the Windows 10 that we have installed on our PC. And that's because you need an active Windows 10 CD key. If you don't, this won't work. You have no choice than to purchase one. Well, as you can see, it's going to install Windows 11 Professional. It's going to keep files, settings, and apps. So next, let's go to our right-hand corner at the bottom and click Install. So please regard uh, the information that says install a Windows Server because it is installing Windows 11. Due to the time it's going to take to install this, we are going to skip this part. And now, as you can see, we are running Windows 11. So that's pretty much it. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and hit this notification bell to stay updated. Thank you. Bye for now.